It all began in the summer of 1957, before the start of second grade. Here we are. <laughs> what do you guys think? I like this place. It's cool. Uh, what color is my room? Just you Hi, I'm Philly Baker. Hey, what are you doing? Don't you want some help? I mean, nothing would stop her. I was about to tell her to get lost when the weirdest thing happened. I couldn't believe it. There I was, uh, holding hands with this strange girl. How did I get into this mess? However, my troubles were far from over. The minute I walked into Miss Yelson's classroom... What? You're here! Julie Baker, you ate her. Oh, that's what's so weird. I don't know what to do. I can't stop thinking about it. Bryce, you should come up here. It's so beautiful. That made seeing Julie at school more uncomfortable. I found myself staring at her in class. The way her hair fell back over her shoulders, she looked just like the picture in the newspaper. Dana Tressler caught me watching. They didn't do something fast, it could spread like wildfire. There's a bee in her hair. Because less than 20 feet away from me was Julie. My Julie, with Eddie Trulock. She's laughing. What was she laughing about? How could she sit there and laugh and look so beautiful? As I walked home with the dirty dishes clanking inside my picnic basket, all I could think of was Julie. I realized Garrett was right about one thing. I had flipped. Completely. When she walked out of the door, I thought back to the first time I saw her. How did anybody, ever, wanted to run away from Julie Baker? He looked at me with those eyes. Those once again dazzling eyes. And I knew Bryce Walski was still walking around with my first kiss. But he wouldn't be for long. As we stood there, I realized that all these years, we never really talked. Do you need some help? Yeah. But that day we started. And I knew we'd be talking for a long time.